Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I wanted to talk about a game I'm really enjoying, Shakedown Hawaii. This is made by v, uh, v Blank Entertainment, I almost said V Blank Studio, and it is one of the last games on the Wii U that was released physically, and it's a little hard to come by now. It runs about $40 to $50 roughly on eBay. You're going to have to buy it secondhand. This cost me $40 with shipping brand new on eBay. I made like an offer and the guy accepted it. These are the same people that created Retro City Rampage, which, which was like a Grand Theft Auto 1 and 2 top-down, sort of clone in a way. Not a clone, but very similar gameplay-wise. Um, I didn't play those, but they looked very fun. So the only one now on my list that I really want is Axiom Verge on the Wii U, which is like $90, so I'm just not... I can't spend that on a game. So, um... This came out physically, I believe, on the Switch, the Wii U, I want to say the PS4 or the Vita, I can't recall which, but it's out there digitally as well, so there are ways to play this very cheap. It is similar to Retro City Rampage or the old Grand Theft Auto games, gameplay-wise, where like a top-down, very retro, kind of, I guess, 16-bit, maybe, aesthetic, it, maybe even 8, it's more than 8-bit, it's more like 16-bit and you were playing as mainly these two characters on the front and also there's a third character that is not on the box that the father is this main guy on the cover here that's that's you and you own a bunch of properties in Hawaii and businesses and none of them are doing well and the the funny part of the game is the character is so behind the times that he doesn't understand a lot of stuff so you'll see like He's trying to rent VHS tapes, or he doesn't understand, um, like, all, all the tropes, kind of, of nowadays, you know, like his printer is running out of ink, and he goes to buy ink, but the ink is three times the cost of the printer. He doesn't understand what, like, loot boxes are. Meanwhile, the, the son, the guy with the, the red mohawk, is in the other room buying loot boxes and playing his game, but there's all these, like, funny circumstances. So, the son buys a new video game and you bring it home, and that's one of the missions, to get the game and bring it home. And you bring it home and there's an update, and the update takes hours, so it's like a joke, it just keeps going and going, and you never get to really play the game, and then when you do, it looks nothing like the box art. So, the game is multifaceted. It plays like the old Grand Theft Autos, where you drive around and run people over and kill people and whatever, but it also has lots of little mini games and things you can do where you can complete missions which add some flavor to the game like burn down a bunch of trees so you can make way to build a building um, try new weapons and like do certain things with the weapons to get points there's just so many things there's chases and car chases and boat chases there's a part where you go to the gym to try and get in shape to get like movie roles or to be on TV or whatever with the main older guy and he has to go to the gym and you have to push the button in like a quick time event type of fashion to like work out and use um, the thigh master or whatever. So there's like lots of funny interactions where the, the older, the dad in the, in the game just doesn't get it and the son is, you know, hip and cool and he gets it, but he's also dumb. So the father's trying to sort of instill something in him, but the son doesn't really want to hear it and the dad is so old fashioned that he doesn't get it. So. He's like trying to buy license licenses for his word processor and um, getting frustrated that he can't just buy things outright, that he has to license them. And throughout the game, your character is looking to scheme his way and figure out ways to buy other properties and sell things to make money to keep buying more properties because his business is going under. So that's like the gist of the story. Your business is going under. You're old fashioned, you're not with the times, and you're trying to do all these things. The third person in the game, his name is Al, and he is in another on an island elsewhere, and you're using him to go and like shake down the cartel and steal files and information or like burn down the poppy seed farm that the cartel has so you can use your poppy seeds or whatever to do things, you know, for to make money so they're not. So there's lots of like underhanded schemes in the game that are very, very funny. I'm not doing the humor in the game justice and you're in the middle of all of them and if you're not doing them you switch to the son and your son is doing them and if he's not doing them then the guy Al in 
I forget what country he's in. It's like Nicaragua or something. But he's he's doing them. And there's also a Sim City type aspect to it. Everything is kind of a light a light aspect. Nothing is, is overly like deep. But you can purchase all these different buildings and businesses from gyms to coffee shops to uh, car repair shops to gun stores and doing it unlocks other things so if you buy gun shops you may get access to better guns or things like that you can go into a veterinarian's office and you can upgrade yourself with bone enhancements to run faster or jump higher so there's lots of little fun nuances and intricacies and then you can like multiply your your money you're making through this like little sim city light aspect by getting a membership card for one of the businesses or using something in the business that you know triggers something else to where your profit goes up times two but you have to buy each of the multipliers so it's a really fun game because it's very varied you can just run around and act crazy you can do challenges each of the missions are very varied in terms of what you have to do sometimes it's like a collect-a-thon or picking things up and delivering them places and sometimes it's destroying things you can go to different businesses and shake them down for protection money and every time you do it it's different in one instance you may have to break up the shop and scare the owner in another instance they trap you and you have to try and get out and you know confront them again or they already have protection and those people are trying to attack you and you have to mow them all down and take over the business there's just so much variety the game does I'm about three quarters of the way through it right now the day the game does feel a little samey like if you keep doing the same things over and over it will get repetitive but I think they broke that up pretty well by just adding very different things you can do whether it be the shooting like smash TV type aspect where you shoot everything definitely has a smash TV feeling to it when you're running and gunning or stealing things and selling them or you know um, going to like impound lots or whatever they're called and turning things in and then using this SimCity light thing and purchasing buildings and upgrading them so there's like a lot of little things you can do which I really enjoy uh, the Wii U version uses the either Wiimote with the classic controller the pro gamepad or the actual gamepad with the screen which you can then mirror so if you want someone else to use the TV or you want to watch something you can play the whole thing on your gamepad the game looks really good it has this kind of fun 80s aesthetic to it even though I mean some of the technology looks 80s ish but then there's talking about like downloads and things that are current it all takes place in Hawaii and it's just really fun I, I really recommend Shakedown Hawaii if you haven't played it I don't know how it's gonna end if you know you're gonna take over everything or if the ending changes depending on if you buy everything and finish it or don't buy everything and finish it but it's just a great game I would recommend this to anyone I think if you buy it digitally there was a, a sale recently for like five bucks and it's totally worth that I just like having physical items so if anyone has a um, a scoop on Axiom Verge on Wii U next let me know because it's just so damn expensive compared to the PS4 and uh, whatever the switch the switch version of axiom verge is cheaper much cheaper but yeah if you like old school games and smash tv and a little bit of kind of management systems it's very very funny the humor in this game and i think that this is one that most people should really play so let me know guys if you've played shakedown hawaii i keep wanting to say hawaii shakedown shakedown hawaii what you thought and if you have it highly highly recommend it thanks guys for watching it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.